edition of the uh, Snail Cannon uh, Roots Furnace. Uh, like I said, 10 minutes in, and that's the color we've got inside. We've got a total of about uh, oh, 10 and a half pounds of woods in there. Uh, based on progress so far, oh, and by the way, I've not even started the So here we have the uh, three crucibles. Uh, this one here was a much smaller melt to begin with. Both of these are about four pound melt. This was a, uh, I think, two and a half pound melt. Um, <clears throat> this one's got a big old bubble. So we'll see uh, what comes of that. And uh, this one certainly is showing evidence that it was a little leaky. So let's find out. This one was definitely a bit leaky, but looks pretty solid for the most part. Also nice and solid. And our little baby one. Let me get a point well, and see if it'll focus on that. But nice, uh, nice looking dendrites on uh, all of these. So we'll try some foraging a bit later. So here we have the uh, first of the Woots ingots uh, forged out uh, pretty well. Uh, you can see uh, right up here where the three-quarter inch bar was welded on and apparently sucked into from the look of it. Uh, obviously not, but that's what it looks like. The Woots is eating the three-quarter inch mild steel. Uh, oh my god, I can hear it still going on. Uh, in any case, the uh, you know, we're forged down to probably about uh, half inch thickness. Ooh, trying to not burn my finger at the same time as videoing here. Uh, right up there, just before the uh, split, a little over half inch there. Tapering down to about three eighths. And I'd say about inch and a half by, you know, and then inch and three quarter up here or so. This was one of the four pound ingots. Um, 
I'm going to have to obviously trim this end a bit, uh, but I would say it will uh, probably get trimmed off again, trying not to burn my finger, probably get trimmed off about there. So at most, I'm going to lose a half pound there. Plus a little bit to scale. Uh, once I uh, do some etching, you know, I'll, I'll grind a little window on this, do a little etch on it, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So here we have the end of that uh, bar that we were forging on. I don't know how well the pattern is going to come through in the video, so I'll just shift this around a little bit. The pattern does continue up, but I didn't, uh, it's more subtle because I didn't take off as much of the uh, uh, oxidized outer surface, the scale surface, uh, further up. This was just a quick, uh, just quickly ground it down, do a little polish on it you know, about five minutes of uh, work and then just uh, a brush on ferric chloride etch. So again, it's still very thick. It's three-eighths thickness there. Three-eighths by, yeah, maybe not quite inch and a half, but close. So uh, this pattern will be substantially refined as uh, we work this down further. So here we have the uh, very large uh, Bowie, you can see a little bit of cracking down here. This was the uh, top end of the ingot and it seems to be focusing on the leaves. But in any case, uh, this is uh, what I forged out of, uh, I guess about two-thirds of that uh, um, ingot we were looking at before that I forged out yesterday. Uh, so, you can see this is a, god I can't even, there we go, holding it far enough away. It's a 14-inch uh, blade. Uh, right now, it's about 2 pounds. I'm guessing the blade will come down to, and eh, it's not quite 2 pounds, a uh, pound and a half maybe. Come down to about a pound after grinding and polishing and everything. So, I think looking pretty good. I've done about, uh, Oh, five minutes of profiling work on it. It was basically this shape after foraging. You can see nice crisp uh, line for the uh, the swage there, or in Middle Eastern uh, terms, the yelman, I believe it's called. So, any case, more once I've got this uh, all nicely ground. So after uh, rough grinding, you can see gotten this all nicely refined down to about a quarter inch at the back. Uh, I wanted to take off quite a bit of material uh, just because the, uh, uh, the ingots always, you know, the Wootz ingots always have a bit of uh, decarburization on the outside and then forging them down takes a while. So bit more decarb. I put a very quick etch on this. Uh, you can't really see the pattern on this side. I feel like the camera is tending to focus on the wrong thing here anyways. Um, that, there we go. So, uh, on the other side though, I, uh, I did etch a uh, little window here. I'm going to shift this around see if we can't can't see it. Uh, yeah, there we go. That should be that should be coming through okay, hopefully. Well, in either case, the, uh, the pattern's always a bit subtle until you do a final etch. And it'll change a bit when uh, we do the heat treatment. 